this if reposted. Adria Villafranca is the CEO and founder of H Drop Technologies. They are soon to be out with a wearable device that will track your hydration status in real time. Adria, I was looking over your resume. You're a mechanical engineer. How in the world did you get into the my body is thirsty business? Yeah, well, basically, I have been playing tennis for 12 years. Um, I have been playing tennis for 12 years, and, and I, um, I came here to the States from Spain to um, study mechanical engineer while playing tennis for um, a college team. Um, I spent my first two years in Oklahoma doing pre-engineering, and then I transferred to Harding. Um, it's a university located in Searcy, Arkansas. And I spent my last three years there, and then I just got my degree. So the idea came from from there, from playing tennis, um, being practicing for hours down down the heat, and um, yep. So as as a elite level athlete, I mean, you can probably see major differences between being hydrated and and, and not. One of my mantras is in life is. If you have a problem, drink more water and you'll be fine. Are you guys primi primarily going to focus on athletes or is this for the average person to wear? So uh, our target market right now is athletes because we feel that they are more aware of the, the hydration problem. Um, at least at least from my own experience, like whenever you start cramping, it's too late mm -hmm. <laughs> to take electrolytes and rehydrate. Um, but we are also focusing on, on like a, the... the overall big consumer market and, and its medical application, um, we will need an FDA approved for that and, all, and, and that will require a lot of money and time. So that's why we're first targeting the uh, tri triathletes and marathon runners um, and then focusing on sports and then jumping into a bigger market. So I'm just a guy talking from a closet, so what do I know? But I feel like when you get thirsty, that's when your body's telling you you need to drink more. That, that that's not the case. Not really. Um, <laughs> whenever you feel thirsty, you are already around ten percent dehydrated. Wow. So, thirstiness is like an indicator of dehydration. So that means that you are already dehydrated. And whenever you are dehydrated, you lose um, not only performance, but you can lose loss of um, focus. You can lose concentration on your daily activities. And for jobs, for example, um, a firefighter um, is, is someone that needs to be aware like 100, at, at his 100% level all the time. So that's something, something pretty important for someone. So I think there's a lot of things people understand on like what your heart rate is. Everyone knows what that range is, blood pressure to some extent. And recently with COVID, your oxygen saturation level, but how do you read or how do you interpret how hydrated you are? It's tough. Um, there's been a lot of um, studies out there talking about the, the, well, pursuing like a gold standard for hydration, um, looking at urine color, looking at saliva osmolality, um, at different things, but none of them are real time. Um, so the gold standard right now, it's a little bit ambiguous. So, and, and it's hard sometimes to teach people about hydration because of that. So what well, kind of just tell us about this process. You have this great idea, you're a tennis player, you're, you're realizing how big of a deal water is to stay hydrated and have better performance. How do you kind of take that conceptually into an idea and build something? You're a mechanical engineer. Was it as hard as you thought it was gonna be or not as hard? It was tough, um, <laughs> lots of hours, lots of time. Um, I had the initial idea three years ago um, while playing tennis and having cramps. Um, and, and then I had to choose like a senior design project for my um, degree, my last year of, of, um, of my studies. And um, I was like, well, if I need to build something for my class um, and spend a lot of time on it, at least I wanna try to focus on, on something that I can maybe monetize later or provide some sort of um, helpful tool for people. So that's why I, I end up choosing this, this project. But lots of hours, um, lots of research. Um, I, I was not a sweat expert, but I'm kind of becoming to 
to be one right now. <laughs> so a lot of the times on this show, my advice to people is keep going. And it sounds like designing something you're not initially an expert in has got to be challenging. Like what kept what has kept you going and what has brought you to the to the state you're at right now? Well, trying to solve the problem, like I'm always, I will consider myself to be like a tryhard probably on everything I do. Yeah. So, so I'm really competitive and and I had the idea and I always try to push as hard as I can to try to make it a reality. It's more and a way to life, I guess, my way to live right now, I guess. Um, but yeah, and, and trying to solve a problem using like creating some sort of low cost solution and long lasting solution so that we can also reach developing countries. That's that's one of the goals that also can me going. I, I have one free tip I, I can offer you. If before it releases, you can have people call me and I'll say, drink some water. <laughs> You're thirsty. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's and I would tip. just like and I would just like to say that I got thirsty during this interview. I don't know if that's a better good thing, but I'm now thirsty. <laughs> yeah. Adrian. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Go, go ahead, Adrian. No, I was going to say that that's something that it's actually happening, happening right now. Like with, uh, there's a lot of virtual meetings now and everyone is forgetting about drinking water. <laughs> yeah. Well. Good thing I just pounded a gallon, but I'm still thirsty. Adria Villafranca, CEO, founder of H Drop Technologies. You should go get a device, a wearable device that will track your hydration status in real time. It's coming out in the next month. If you want more information, go to hdroptech.com. Adria, thank you for your time today.